Okay, so this is the third video in the linear equations series. Um, and on this particular video, we're going to look at values of x on both sides of the equation and how we solve for values of x. So what I mean by that is, let's say we have a question which is something like 7x and it's going to be plus 2 equals 5 x minus 4. And what we're going to do is solve this equation and work out the value of x so that the equation balances. Like before, uh, a couple of uh, housekeeping rules uh, with algebra is that you need to try to make sure always that you work down the page and that the equal sign always remains in the middle. And it's really important in algebra to make sure that you balance both sides of the equation. So what I'm going to do first is get rid of these brackets. And if you look at the previous video, that will show you that you need to multiply each of the terms inside the bracket by the term that's outside the bracket. So. This side hasn't changed, so this still is going to remain as 7x plus 2. Equal sign in the middle again. And this side, the first term, is going to be 5x. So I'm going to write 5x there. The next term is 5 times minus 4, which is minus 20. And just be a little bit careful about multiplying positives by negatives and you always get a negative sign and there are uh, there is another video that talks about how to do that okay so I'm in a situation now where I have 7x this side plus 2 and 5x this side minus 20 and really what I want to achieve is to have all my x's on one side and all my numbers on the other so I can then be in a position where I can calculate x being some sort of value. So what I'm going to do first is I want to get rid of this 5x and have it over here if I can. Okay, now the way that we do that with algebra is we need to make sure whatever we do to the right hand side we do to the left hand side. And again it's very good practice to write down and tell an examiner what you're doing as you're working through and solving the equation. So I have 5x there and I'm going to get rid of it. Well, the way I'm going to get rid of it is I'm going to take it away. But if I take it away from this side, I have to take it away from this side as well. So 5x I'm going to take away and I'm going to take away from this side as well. And again, it's very useful to write these things down so you don't forget what you're doing. So 5x take away 5x means that on this side, I only have a value left of minus 20. And again, don't forget your positive or your minus signs. You need to make sure that they remain within the equation. On this side, I have 7x take away 5x is 2x. So I have 2x, but I mustn't forget I have plus 2 on this side, which I need to take into account. Okay. Now I'm in a position where I have a positive 2 on here that I really want to have at the other side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 2 away from both sides of the equation. So if I take 2 away from this side, positive 2, take away 2, cancels itself out, it's 0. So I'm left with 2x equals, and again put the equal sign in the middle. And on the right hand side, I've got minus 20, minus 2, which is minus 22. Um, minus um, negative numbers and positive numbers are addressed on another video, but it is good to actually maybe look at them as a bit of a thermometer. So what we have here is minus 20, and it gets 2 degrees colder. Now, if it gets two degrees colder, it jumps down to minus 22. So this is minus 2. Okay, so we're minusing the number. And again, if you look at one of the other videos, that will show you how to do that. So here we are uh, with 2x equals minus 22. 
So I need to get rid of this 2. What I'm going to do is divide both sides by 2. So I'm divide by 2 there and divide by 2 there. And on this side, 2x divided by 2 will give me 1x or x on its own. And minus 22 divided by 2 is minus 11. And that's the answer to this particular equation. Now I need to now prove it. And again, it's a good habit uh, for an exam to make sure that you just do a very quick check to prove that it's correct for you. So, if I take that value of minus 11 and feed it back into the original equation, I've got, uh, I'll write down the, the original equation as 7x plus 2 equals 5x uh, minus 4. Okay, so if I have a value of minus 11, I've got 7 times minus 11 is minus 77 plus 2 equals 5 times minus 11 minus 4. Okay, so it looks a little bit complicated at the moment, but I'm sure it'll solve and work itself out. So minus 77 plus 2 is minus 77. It's getting 2 degrees warmer, so that's going to be minus 75. And on this side, I've got 5 times minus 11 is minus 55. And 5 times minus 4 is minus 20. So it's minus 55, it's going to get 20 degrees colder, so this side is going to be minus 75, and this side is minus 75. So it is true, for the purposes of this particular equation, that x equals minus 11. Um, that's about as complicated as it's going to get for GCSE, and for these you're going to be looking at around about level C, perhaps level B, that sort of level. Um, they're fairly straightforward. Um, the next video will start looking at how linear equations then introduce fractions and how you can work with algebra and manipulate the equation using fractions. I hope that's okay. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to the site, that will keep you informed of any new videos that I produce. And also, you're very welcome to visit mathswrap.co.uk and there's quite a lot of information on the website as well.